Hi guys, welcome back to another Masters of the Universe action figure comparison video. Today we are going to have a look at Hordak. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot of figures, so let's get straight into it. First up is his vintage figure. I didn't have this one as a kid. Uh, this one was my brother's. As you can see, he never really played with his Masters of the Universe figures, so I inherited them all when he was too old for toys. Thankfully, I never suffered that same fate. <laughs> um, so yes, this is original Hordak. Uh, next up is Hurricane Hordak. So this Hordak has this gold vac metal on him. He has three different attachments, as you can see. And he has a spinning dial on his back to spin his action feature. Uh, and they're interchangeable, just unplugs and the new one plugs in. So that is um, Hurricane Hordak. Move him to the side. Next up we have uh, Buzzsaw Hordak. Now this one I bought on eBay. He was mint on card. Now, this was probably the early 2000s. His plastic is very, very sticky to touch. So uh, I think he's been exposed to the sun. He was like this when I got him. Also when I opened him, he was actually broken. Um, so his action feature doesn't work. As far as I'm aware, you're supposed to pull down this tab that his cape is connected to, and this uh, buzzsaw thing is supposed to fly out of his chest. But this is broken. The little mechanism in there was in about five pieces when I opened him up, so he's actually never worked. Um, so to this day, I don't fully know how that is supposed to work. He's very barrel-chested. Um, yeah, he's a lot thicker to, fix, to fit that action feature uh, inside his chest cavity. Okay, and next up we have 2000X. So this this Hordak was um, not actually an action figure. He was a mini statue, or as they used to call them back then, a staction, which is kind of a combination of statue and action feature, uh, action figure. So uh, this was the Hordak staction that came out. He has the amazing 2000X detailing. Uh, and he's probably one of my favorites overall, just because, you know, just the level of detailing that the Four Horsemen put into these guys uh, it was just amazing. Now, because of his, um, the way he's been stored just in a box, his legs have warped a little bit, so he needs a little bit of sticky tack to help him stand, because his feet are just not quite flat. Um, but that's okay. Um, yeah, as I said, he's one of my favorites. Okay, next up. We have the classics. So, um, I believe this was the first one released. Uh, his original uh, uh, look, I guess. Uh, his action figure look. So, as you can see, he had the the grey skin. Um, yeah, the cape, all the rest of it, all those detailing. He also has a little bit of 2000X detailing with that kind of more jagged cape. Um, yeah, the two, uh, two, Classics kind of incorporated a little bit of 2000X into them too. Uh, so that is his first Classics version. I think his next Classics version was the Hurricane version. Now, he has this molded on um, dial, but it doesn't actually do anything. It's not functional. And you can swap out his arm attachments. But again, they're not functional. They will, they will move tightly but there's no actual spinning action feature uh, in there so that is the classics hurricane hordak next to his vintage counterpart next up is buzzsaw hordak so uh, I kind of didn't really see the need for this guy in the classics line you know by the time we had you know a couple of hordaks already people were screaming for a filmation version hordak with the blue skin um, and he's already so similar to all the others, he kind of just seemed a little bit pointless. But I guess his cape is a slightly different colour. Um, they changed him up a little bit. They gave him, you know, black highlights on his boots instead of silver. Uh, that kind of thing, just to make him a little bit different, you know. This one has the dry brushing on his paint, this one doesn't on his belt. Uh, so that is... Um, Buzzsaw Hordak, his chest opens up, he has the saw in there, but again, non-functional, it doesn't actually shoot out or anything, it just kind of sits in there. Okay, and then next up was a chase figure 
from memory, I think this was the first chase figure that Maddie Collector ever did, and it's the Spirit of Hordak. So in the 2000X cartoon, and I think in the comics, Hordak was um, basically trapped in Despondos, and he could only appear in a ghost form, in this spirit form. So this was, um, I guess, an homage, an homage to um, that Spirit of Hordak figure. And then we finally got a Filmation uh, coloured version Hordak. He was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. He has, um, this arm is removable so you can have a regular arm or this really cool claw arm. I like this arm a lot actually. And that attachment, that hand attachment. So that was Hordak. I was never really a big fan of the blue Hordak, you know, um, as far as I'm aware. He was only ever blue in the cartoon because if he had been grey or black that doesn't really translate well um, on the screen. So they made him blue to simulate that black colour. Uh, and then people just wanted him in this blue colour all the time. But anyway, that is Filmation style classics Hordak. And the latest one that just came out a couple of weeks ago is the Filmation style Hordak from Super 7. So as you can see, he has a whole new sculpted torso. Both of his arms are removable, so this um, uh, cannon arm can fit into any side. He also comes with another arm, so you can have you know, two arms or the cannon arm in either side. So I do like this one a lot. I think he's translated really well. Mine has some paint app issues, but overall he's pretty good. Um, yeah, so that is all of my Hordak figures. So if you stick around, I will post some close-up photos of these guys for you to have a look at. Thanks guys.